It's August 27, 2020. I'm Todd Dunn, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to download charts to the Open CPN Chart Plotter software running on a Raspberry Pi. So, let's get to it. Okay, I've got my Raspberry Pi running with, and I've got it connected to the internet, which is going to be important for uh, installing charts because we're going to download charts from online. Now the charts that I'm going to download today and what I'm going to show you how to do is for the United States, which is where I am. Uh, every country is different in terms of chart availability and in a lot of places you're going to have to buy the charts. However, in the United States you can get free official NOAA, which is the National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration, charts and you have your choice of vector charts which are fully digital charts they're pretty computationally intensive though and I don't know how well this Raspberry Pi 4 will handle them or you can get raster charts which are essentially pictures of the actual paper charts now those are the charts I prefer because I like the way they look. I'm used to paper charts, but you can try it with either one type. But I'm going to show you how to download raster charts. Okay, let's start by opening OpenCPN. And there it is. Okay, now that we've got OpenCPN running, we can go over here on the left-hand side of the screen and click the little star symbol there and now we can click charts okay we need to tell the system where to get the charts and that's what called a catalog now I've already specified that I'm in the United States so it's going to give me options for the United States and here are the options now I'm going to use USA uh, NOAA and inland charts and I want raster navigational charts which are called RNC's. If I wanted the digital ones I would have clicked on ENC. So uh, chart files can be quite big and there are a lot of them in any given area so what I'm gonna do is record is download them just for my state which is Maine. I could do it by Coast Guard District or a number of other options, but I'll go by state and we will scroll down here and find Maine. And I'll click that and now I'm going to click and it's, this is the folder it's going to put it in and I'm going to click OK. OK, now that I've got Maine selected there, I'm going to update the Maine catalog. Now I think I can go to download charts and any chart I don't want I can unclick and as you can see there are quite a few but I'm just going to download all of them so we'll click download selected charts it says that there are 40 charts and down here it's going to show the progress of the download and you can see most of these charts are in the neighborhood of two to four uh, megabytes there are 40 of them so we're probably looking at 100 to 200 megabytes of charts so we'll just have to wait for this to finish you can see it's up to chart number eight now nine ten so it's about a quarter of the way it'll take a minute or two and when it's finished uh, we should hopefully have charts And this is completely automatic. This is downloading the charts from the official NOAA US government server. So these are the latest versions of the official NOAA charts for Maine. And as I said, these are raster charts. So we'll just keep going. It's up to number 17 now. And as I said, you need a good internet connection to do this, or it will take literally forever. And we'll keep loading. We're up to a little more than halfway. Some of the charts are bigger than others.
Okay, still going. We're up to 29, 30, three-fourths of the way through. These charts seem to be about six megabytes each, five to six megabytes each. So I am guessing 40, say, 200 megabytes of charts. So depending on how fast your connection is, this could take anywhere from just a couple minutes, like I did here, or it could take quite a bit longer. Okay, now that we've finished, 40 charts uh, total have been downloaded. We will click Apply, and this should apply all the charts. And we're finished. Everything is done. 40 charts total, and as you can see, now we have some charts. Drag it over and look at the area. Now I'm here on Mount Desert Island, so let's click, see if I can get it to center, and I'll just drag it. And we'll zoom in a little. As we zoom in, this will automatically change the chart we're looking at as smaller scale charts are available. Now here's Southwest Harbor, where I keep my boat. My mooring is right about there, so if I want, I could uh, drop a mark there and label it as my mooring. Uh, so anyway, that's all there is to downloading charts. Very simple. And uh, now we have charts, so our Open CPN Chart Plotter program is ready for the next step, which is connecting a GPS. Okay, let's hook a GPS up to the Raspberry Pi so that OpenCPN will know where we are. And if we were moving, we'd be able to track us. So we'll start OpenCPN. And there we are, Southwest Harbor, where I keep my boat. But that's not where we are right now. So we need to tell the system that there's a GPS hooked up. Now I have my GPS plugged in to one of the serial ports and it's running so it's getting data right now but the system doesn't know it's there. So we're going to go back up here to the settings bar and open that up and we're going to go to connections. Now what we want to do is click add connection and it should Show us a connection. I'm going to go, this is a serial port, a USB port. So we'll go there and we'll apply that. And see, there it is. It found my GPS. And now we will apply that. And everything should be good. But where is it? Well, we're not out in Southwest Harbor right now. I'm sitting in my uh, house. So I'm going to go to Navigate and click on Auto Follow, which will move the chart to the location where the GPS is telling us we are. So let's do that. And there it is. There's my house. At least in the form of a little boat. And we're not moving. Over here in the little dashboard I installed, uh, it's telling us we've got a speed of zero knots. Here's the satellites it sees. And right now, it, uh, since we're not moving, it's not giving us any course information. If we started to move, it would presumably give us course information. I'll see if it does anything if I move it physically. Yeah, I didn't move it far enough to make any difference. But there we go. It's uh, got a location for us. If I zoom out a little, well, that was the wrong way, zoom in. And basically that's all there is to uh, hooking a GPS up. You plug it into a USB port, turn it on, let it start acquiring signal, go to settings, connections, add the connection, tell it it's serial, and apply it. Should pop up right there, and you're in business. 
Then you apply that and you're done. And now if we move, which I'm afraid my house isn't going to do, it will track where we're going. And we can use a lot of other functions like over here. We can click that and enable tracking. So if we move, it will leave a, a trail on the chart to show us where we've been. That's useful when you're going into a tight passage uh, and uh, you want to be able to follow your course back out. And that will also, if you go into Tools and go to Root and Mark Manager, if you've got tracking turned on, it'll leave a track and uh, at the end of the day, it'll tell you how far you've gone, which is very useful. There are lots and lots of things you can do with this. Okay. So, that's it. I've loaded, connected to GPS. So now, we're ready to take this Raspberry Pi and head out. And uh, it'll work with OpenCPN running on it. It will give us full chart plotter functionality. So we'll know where we are and where we're going. And over here on the dashboard, we'll know how fast we're going. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't, please subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you will get notifications of when my next exciting video comes up. Thanks again for watching.